welcome to this expanded weekend webisode of today's Daily Pin Code. It's a little longer than normal, but we are ending our series on angels. And there was just too much to cram into one. So I want you to sit back and relax. This is going to be a fun episode. I've had a blast. I've enjoyed all your comments. I apologize. We obviously did not get to a fraction of them. But as you can see, there's a portion of my angel collection behind us here. Uh, my sister and I have a little tradition. She gives me angels for Christmas every year. And about two weeks ago, she sent me something in the mail because this tradition goes back for two decades. Um, she sent me something in the mail saying she always wanted to send it, and it was, Angels, I won't be getting you for Christmas. So I thought this was really, <laughs> really fitting. I wanted to show you a couple of these. Look there. There's a fiber optic winter snow angel. This is the lighted dream catcher figurine angel. Okay, so this angel requires batteries she says. And there's lots of them here. I think the one that really creeps me out the most is the uh, Charlie Cherub doll. Yeah, all that protection for only $7.99. Anyway, thank you, Sabrina. I think these are hilarious. But more than that, even, I want to do some angel myth busting today. I think it's really important. And we even had one uh, viewer, Kara, who wrote in and said, all right, so we see angels. What do we do once there? I need to know what happens, and, you know, we're going to look at what doesn't happen, too. So let's get right to it with the top ten things that I want to set the record straight with concerning angels. Number ten, angels do not marry and have baby angels, okay? Do you see this happening? Hmm? This guy's asleep anyway, so... There's no way that this little guy is ever going to happen. No such thing as this dude. Got it? Okay. Because Scripture tells us in Matthew 22, 30, At the resurrection, people will neither marry nor be given in marriage. They will be like the angels in heaven. Number nine, children all have personal angels that appear before God. True. Though the words guardian angels are never found in this verse, such can be understood from Jesus' teaching. See that you do not look down on one of these little ones. For I tell you that their angels in heaven always see the face of my Father in heaven. Number eight, angels are powerful spirit beings. True, 2 Thessalonians 1 says in verses 6 and 7, God is just. He will pay back trouble to those who trouble you and give relief to you who are troubled and to us as well. This will happen when the Lord Jesus is revealed from heaven in blazing fire with his powerful angels. Number seven, angels are on our side, so technically it's okay to pray to them. False. Angels are just God's mailmen, okay? So I might like a letter that my mailman gives to me, but when it comes time to respond, I'm going to call the writer and not the mailman. Some of you might say, well, it doesn't say anywhere in Scripture we can't pray to angels. Well, it also doesn't say you can't pray to Lucifer, but hopefully you're going to have enough common sense not to do it. Have people talked to angels in Scripture before? Sure, look at Genesis 18. Abraham had those three little visitors. And some people even misunderstand this passage because he said to them, Let a little water, I pray, you be fetched and wash your feet and rest yourselves under the tree. Well, okay, so he didn't say, I pray to you. He meant, I pray you, like I beseech you or I beg you. So, no, we're not supposed to just strike up conversations. Number six, angels have to obey us. Not true. I'm going to call that one false. Because it says in the book of Psalms, Bless the Lord, you his mighty angels, mighty in strength, who perform his word, obeying the voice of his word. So angels don't obey us, they obey God. So instead of praying, you know, I send out angels in Jesus' name for this situation, we should pray, Father, send out your angels in Jesus' name. Number five, angels will be judged by Christians one day. 1 Corinthians 6.3 says, Do you not know that we will judge angels one day? So that's pretty clear. That one's true. Number four, angels are not to be worshipped. True. Listen to this warning. Angels are messengers of God. They are not gods. Colossians 2.18 says, Let no one disqualify you, insisting on self-abasement and the worship of angels. 
In fact, one time, John, the revelator, uh, an angel came to him in Revelation 19, and he bowed down to the angel, and the angel said, Do not do it. He said, I am a fellow servant with you and with your brothers who hold to the testimony of Jesus. Worship God. Number three, angels cannot be seen by people. Are you serious? Are you still having trouble with that one? Okay, look. All I can, all I can tell you is this. Number two, angels cannot technically deliver someone from harm to safety. False. What do you do with Acts 5? The story where they're in jail and angel says, an angel comes in in the night, angel of the Lord, opened the doors of the jail and brought them out. And what about Daniel chapter 6? My God sent his angel and he shut the mouths of the lions. Sounds like deliverance to me. All right, and we're down to number one and this is my favorite. Listen, we all know there's good and evil. Now, we all know that Satan, Lucifer, the devil, the enemy, whatever you call him, he's there, okay? I heard somebody say one time, there's not a demon behind every bush. I agree with that. Sometimes there's two. So they get their charge from somewhere. Um, and let me tell you something, Satan is powerful. But here is the number one thing that I want to discuss concerning angels. Satan is powerful, but just one angel can defeat him? True. Guys, I have read the end of this book. And it says in the book of Revelations, I saw an angel coming down out of heaven, having the key to the abyss, holding in his hand a great chain. He seized the dragon, that ancient serpent who is the devil, or Satan, and bound him for a thousand years. He threw him into the abyss and locked and sealed it over him to keep him from deceiving the nations anymore until the thousand years were ended. That is the power of the God we serve. Next time you're in trouble, I want you to imagine one angel taking your enemy by the scrawny neck and <laughs> casting him away. It is important to know that you should never call on an angel for deliverance, help, because to do so would open yourself up to spiritual deception. Look, in the beginning of time, God created all the angels. A third of them rebelled. They fell. That's where we get all the uh, evil in the world today. And so, in my opinion, if you go calling on an angel, there are a third of them out there that still consider themselves angels, but they're not. They're demons. And, you know, so I think if you do the math on that, if you go calling on an angel, you've got a one in three chance of being deceived. Actually, I'm going to up it to a hundred, okay? I've heard of people naming angels. Uh, if somebody, if an angel comes to you and says, my name is Emma or hello, my name is Angelica, and welcome to today's Daily Pin Code. <laughs> and if you ever see an angel with a puppy, you need to tell it to go away. And its little dog, too. But seriously, I love my angel collection, and I think it reminds me that there are angels amongst us. I think scripture has been clear. I think your testimonies have been clear. And so I, just one last time, I want to pray the prayer from... 2 Kings 6 over you, that God would open your eyes so that you might see that those who are with you are greater than those who are against you, and that when those angels and chariots of fire and all of that show up so that you can see it, that you would fall to your knees and not worship them and not concentrate on them, but on God who is delivering. We are winding up our series on angels. We've got a great series coming up that's going to last into May. It's going to be awesome, and I feel very sure about where we're going. I'm Laura Harris-Smith, and I will see you next time on today's Daily Pin Code.